All right, let me show you how to do two workstations on one computer. So you need software. It is called Aster Multi Seat. You got two monitors, a bunch of peripherals, which don't worry, it looks confusing, but it's pretty straightforward. As you can see, I move my mouse, I touch the keyboard, everything's already pretty much laid out. If we touch the speaker, right there, and then we go to the other one, it's on the other speaker. And then after you figure things out and make sure your monitor's on the right components, then you just go over here and click enable. And there we go. And as you can see, we are logged in on this one. And I'm gonna log in on this one. Boom, ba-bang. Pretty cool, huh? First and foremost, 5950X, 16 cores. I did that for a specific reason. Eight cores, eight cores. 32 gigs, 32 gigs. GPU, 16 gigs, eight gigs, eight gigs. Think of it that way. You're splitting everything up. Now, when it comes to gaming, you might run into some performance issues. Here's what you can do. This obviously depends on the game. Like, I don't think CSGO is going to struggle on max settings. But something like Halo Infinite has two really important things. And a lot of modern games have this, too. And that's this resolution scale. Just, just ride this baby down a little bit and it'll keep your frame rate high. Or you can use FSR or DLSS. It drastically decreases that VRAM in the stress on your computer. Another cool thing with Halo in particular is the frame rate target. See, I have it capped to 120. So the game's gonna work itself to try to achieve 120 regardless of how I have this set up. And you can see I do a medium preset and a medium preset on there. So it's all about balancing, but also making sure it doesn't look like crap. And that about does it. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment below. My biggest takeaway if you're going to go down this route is to just understand balance. Understand the, the hardware you have and its limitations.